Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays. Um, today, I'm going to start a multi-episode tribute to one of my favorite directors, Robert Aldrich. Now, I'm going to show you guys all the Robert Aldrich movies that I have in my collection. Um, it won't include Laserdisc. Um, I think the only one I have on Laserdisc is The Dirty Dozen. Um, but I will show you all his movies that I have. I don't have all of them. I, I still have probably less than 10 to go, I believe, to get all, all the movies. But I really have all his great movies, and I would like to share those with you and show them. Because he's a really cool director, and he's made some really great movies over the years. And um, unfortunately, he's not with us anymore. Um, and um, I, I'd like to show off his movies also to show that you know he didn't just make the dirty dozen he made a lot of great movies and um i'm going to start off with one of the first movies i ever saw um or i lied the second movie i ever saw by robert aldrick um and that would be kiss me deadly this came out in 1955, and when I first saw this, it just it blew my mind. It really did. It just it was like wow. I copied this off uh, one of the movie channels when I was in probably early days of high school, sometime, and it, it was on before I went to school one morning. And I set the VCR to record it on VHS, and. Uh, I had that copy for a long time and watched it and watched it and stuff. And I thought I was just cool. It was the coolest movie. Um, but yeah, it's a film noir, but it's much more than a film noir um, and everything. It, it's, it, it's his spin on uh, Mickey Spillane, uh, who played the character Mike Hammer, who's kind of a uh, detective um, and shows how he, he, he's got into a little bit of a jam in this episode and highly recommend this movie actually this copy i have is the criterion dvd and i got this from um, a video store in louisville kentucky when it went out of business called wild and woolly video and this is actually their copy they had uh, so it's got some stickers on here from people that liked it that worked there so yeah, this came from Wild and Wooly Video, and I'm glad I have a little piece of that video store still. Hmm. So next up, I got a movie from Arrow Academy Blu-ray. This is, um, I think it's all region, no, it's region B. It's called The Big Knife. And this is from 1950, when is this, 50, I'm gonna say 56. 55, oh, it's also from 55. Uh, stars Jack Palance. It's got the great Ida Lupino, Wendell Corey, uh, Rod Steiger is just killer in this. It's got an early Shelley Winters. She's billed as Miss Shelley Winters in it. And it, this is basically a just a, a movie that gives Hollywood kind of a, a, a just a butt whooping in a way. It kind of rips open the underside of Hollywood and what kind of goes on the pressure uh that the studios put on a director and actors and actresses and stuff so it was a big deal in 1955 to be so you know critical of the of the you know the hollow the hollywood studio system at the time um it was done independently for a uh, united artists and they always gave a lot of freedom to their directors and writers um, it's based on a stage play by uh, Clifford Odets. Uh, it was adapted by James Pohl. So it's a great movie if you haven't seen it, The Big Knife. I think it was on Criterion Channel streaming recently, so you can keep your eye out for that. Uh, next up is a movie uh, also from around that time zone, time frame. Uh, 1956 is Attack. This also has Jack Palance in it. It's got Eddie Albert as a coward of a leader. Um, briefly, I'm going to show you, uh, tell you about it. It's, it's a um, basically takes place during the Battle of the Bulge. Um, uh, it's when a, a lieutenant, played by J uh, Jack Palance, learns that his men died because the commander, played by Eddie Albert, 
uh, was too much of a coward to join into the fight and bring them on, which causes a serious uh, issues, a serious warning to the rest of the guys and says, don't let this happen again. But Cooney's cowardness forces Costa, who played, you know, Jack Palance's character, uh, into a fateful choice, continue to risk the lives of his men or take the life of the captain. So it's really good. It's got a dark overtones. It's got uh, Lee Marvin, Robert Strauss, uh, Richard Jekyll, uh, Buddy Epson is even in this. Um, this is also another James Pohl uh, script adaptation. And uh, it's from a book by Norman Brooks. So I highly recommend Attack. Um, I just saw it for the first time this year. And um, I got this older um, MGM UA DVD. It's on a, I believe a Kino Blu-ray. So you might want to keep your eye out for that. Highly recommend it. Just underrate it. Uh, next, uh, let me see how I'm gonna go. I also got another MGM DVD here. Uh, this one is from 19, I'm gonna get the time right, 1970, I wanna say 73. Okay, 1973's The Grissom Gang. Uh, another great movie. Um, it's got a great cast. Um, everybody that's in it, it's got uh, Kim Darby, Scott Wilson, uh, Tony Mazzante, uh, Robert Lansing. Um, little little note on Scott Wilson. Scott Wilson uh, went on to play. Um, uh, God, I always forget his name, but he was in The Walking Dead. He's the older guy, um, the father, who's the doctor that helps him. Uh, God, I always forget his name, but he, with the gray beard. That's Scott Wilson, and he was in this in uh, 1973, and he also did a lot of great movies in the 60s and 70s. So, highly recommend The Grissom Gang. It's different. It's it's about a bloodthirsty gang that kind of kidnaps Kim Darby to ransom her, and it kind of goes wrong. And uh, great performance by Scott Wilson. That's all I'm gonna say. So yeah, there you go. The Grissom Gang. It's also available, I believe, on a Blu-ray Kino Kino release. Next up is an older uh, Paramount DVD. I'm not sure if this is on Blu-ray. I've had it for a long time. I got it from a video store when it went out of business years and years ago. Um, it's called Hustle, and it has uh, Catherine Deneuve and Burt Reynolds in it. And this is from 1975. And it's um, Burt Reynolds plays kind of a, a detective who's just... Um, being overworked and just everything he's, he's there's a certain case where a girl gets killed and the father is really putting pressure on him and the strain it causes on the marriage and stuff it's a different movie i haven't seen it in years i need to give it another look and stuff to really give you a full like recommendation on it but it's definitely worth a look uh when i first came across this in the video store i was like robert aldrich and I was like, I wasn't for sure because I had never heard of it. Um, so I picked it up. So it's a movie I don't really see much, you know, in, in looking for videos and stuff. I, I usually never see Hustle. So uh, I recommend at least find it, pick it up and stuff. I think you can get that Paramount DVD for cheap. It's been out for almost 20 years now. Uh, next up is a kind of an odd movie. I got this this year, actually. It's called The Legend of Lila Claire, and um, this is a Warner Archive Collection release. Uh, he made this movie in 1968, 1968, and uh, has uh, Kim Novak, Peter Finch, Ernest Borgnine, and uh, yeah, what can I say? Um, pretty odd movie. It's kind of... Uh, Kind of focuses on um, Kim Novak as a um, Hollywood starlet. I think a director kind of mistaken, like kind of sees her, meets her, and he looks. She looks like his his ex or his dead wife or something, and he tries to cast her and play her off as that person in the movies or something. It's kind of confusing. I watched it really late at night, and I was tired and. I need to rewatch it definitely, but I would I wouldn't I wouldn't 
not underrated. It's I would say definitely pick this up. But it, it's a movie that uh, you can't find for under twenty dollars. And I wish the price would come down or come out on Blu-ray and I'd pick it up, or or to recommend it. But yeah, the Legend of uh, Lila Claire. They show it on TNT or TNT. Turner Classic Movies, T TCM a lot, so keep your eyes out for that. Next up, I have a couple of German releases of a um, couple of westerns that uh, Robert Aldrich, Aldrich did um, back in the uh, back in the fifties and sixties. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't have these name these dates right up. Um, this is from 1954, and this is Apache, starring Burt Lancaster and Charles Bronson. Uh, it's, it says Maasai. That, that's his character's name in the movie, uh, Maasai. And, but, but it's all in German, but it's Apache. So uh, it's a great movie. Uh, I was highly... I, I, I put it on, and I thought it was going to be a typical Western from the 1950s, you know. Um, but man, it was good. It was a good movie. This was a great release. This this was released by Koch Media in Germany. They have put out a couple of really good series of Blu-rays. They're in these like book form, and they got a little uh, flip case with some uh, liner notes and stuff. But man, they got some great prints on these. The beautiful prints, and it really. Uh, surprised me it was a great movie uh burt lancaster is great as always and uh, this would probably be considered a kind of a um maybe a one of the beginning start the starting career of Walt, uh, robert aldrich um 1955 he would do kiss me deadly which would really start his career going but this was kind of you know he was just doing some westerns and typical things around this time but yeah he did this and it's really good Next up is another uh, Koch Media release of um, The Last Sunset. I did a video and I had shown this and um, still to this day, such a beautiful print on this. A gorgeous color, sharp, looks great. Um, you know, I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm sure it's a restoration of some sort because it looks great. But yeah, it's a El Perdido. Um, or Last Sunset. It stars Rock Hudson, Kirk Douglas. Uh, it's got a great cast. Um, Dorothy Malone is excellent in it. Um, cinematography by Ernest Laszlo. Uh, Dalton Trumbo did the script. So um, mix it all together and you got a great Western movie. Great video. Uh, it's, it's available uh, in the U.S. under Last Sunset, but um, this movie and this one really these just look really great i'm really impressed with them um so moving right along and we have a movie now from 1959 and it's called 10 seconds to hell this movie uh teams jack palance again with uh robert aldrich uh, it's got a great cast with jeff chandler uh martine carroll uh virginia baker west addy and um great little story um it, it's about a group of gis after world war ii uh they're working cleaning up germany helping with the you know starting the city back up and helping the german people get back to living again uh they're basically the bomb squad and they're cleaning up any kind of dropped bombs that were dropped and didn't weren't exploded so they're basically the bomb squad and they, they've got a very dangerous job and it's a very tense movie uh, with the characters working together very tense relationships they have plus just the work itself very tense so uh, great performance by jack palance and this is a, a new uh, hd remaster so it looks really good recommend that and that's a uh, kino blu-ray release speaking of kino release i got another one here this is a movie from 1972, and it's um, Alzana's Raid. And this is another gorgeous Western by Robert Aldrich. Uh, Burt Lancaster, again, teamed up with Robert Aldrich. Great, great, great performance. Uh, great cast, Bruce Davidson, Richard J. Kill returns. Um, 
great little uh, Alan Sharp story. Uh, basically, um, I don't want to go into it. it it's, it's a great Western. Uh, highly recommend this disc. It's got audio commentary, interviews, trailers from hell with John Landis, and it's got a theatrical trailer. So it's really highly recommended to get this uh, great, great movie. And I got a movie now from Eureka's Masters of Cinema series. This is number 152. And this is also 1977's Twilight's Last Gleaming. Uh, this was uh, getting close to the end of uh, Robert Aldrich's career. Um, this was done, I believe, independently. Um, released through a, um, a studio, of course. But um, I believe... Um, I'm not sure who it was released through, but this is a great release. Uh, it's got a great big booklet in there. Uh, it's two disc, it's you know, DVD and Blu-ray. Uh, but yeah, it's got some, um, there's a, there's a uh, supplement called Aldrich over Munich. It's a uh, feature length documentary on the making of the movie by Robert F uh, Fisher. And like I said, it's got the 36 page booklet. It's really cool. You can get this. Um, I believe it might be out of print, but you can get it on, on uh, eBay and uh, Amazon. And there's some other editions too besides this because this is region B and you need, of course, you need a region, all region player to watch it. So there's that. So I will be back in a moment with uh, the next episode will be part two and I will sh uh, finish showing some Robert Audrick movies that I have and uh, hope you guys tune in, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. If you like it, give me a thumbs up, comment and I uh, hope you tune in for the next episode and uh, thanks for watching guys.